Hi, in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing, yes, unboxing of these RAM modules. Now there's not going to be any benchmarks, anything like that. Literally I'm going to be opening this box, I'm going to show you what's inside, how the RAM modules look, and that's going to be the end of it. For those of you who want to see the installation of the modules, have a look at the further videos where I'm going to be installing the RAM modules and everything in this computer case. But for the moment, this is module unboxing. I actually like Kingston packaging because they don't make it too complicated to open their packaging and after opening you can actually use it to store your memory as well. So inside we have two modules that look like so. Very nice kit in my opinion. So let's have a look at one of them. Oh yeah, and I have tendency to forget the stickers. The stickers also included looks like so. Yeah, pretty neat for those of you who want to put it on the side or front of the case, just in case. So there you have it. Now the shroud, I think it's some sort of a metal, so painted metal, looks like aluminum. And there's some engraved or, I don't know what you call it, lettering here on both sides. So it looks pretty neat. Definitely doesn't look cheap. The PCB underneath is black. The top looks like so. And on the back we have just a sticker and that's pretty much it. But yeah guys, I think they're really nice looking modules and I'm definitely going to be using two of these kits, so 32 gigabytes of RAM in my system. Now, the reason I chose these modules and not anything else because Kingston is a reputable supplier of memory modules. The memory modules never gave me any trouble. Compatibility is great, speed is fine and guys, RAM is RAM at the end of the day. This is DDR4 RAM, I need DDR4 RAM, and that's it. When you're shopping for RAM, just have a look at these uh, writings, so make sure it's DDR4 that you need, and make sure, at the speed, uh, make sure in terms of the speed what you need. So in my case, I can use up to, I think, DDR3000, so overclocked memory, but I don't need that because it's gonna be quite expensive, and I went for these because the price was nearly identical to a lower tier memory modules, so why not? But at the same time, don't spend too much money chasing the speed of RAM modules, especially if you, all you're gonna be doing is gaming because RAM is RAM, it doesn't really matter that much, um, but it's gonna be quite a bit more expensive if you want faster modules. So that's that, that's unboxing of Kingston Fury X, oh sorry, Kingston Fury Hyper X, because that's not an AMD GPU. And yeah, guys, let me know what you think about these modules or about the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the installation video later on. We're going to do some benchmarks as well for those who are interested. And yeah, have a nice day. See you next time.